Especially, yeah. the, and it was the defense that kickstarted it again. Those yeah, three you know, straight steals. Our press, you know, eventually, it wears you out, and so we're, we're going to gamble a lot. We're going to give up some a lot of easy stuff, but that's what pressing teams do. You know, you got to play a helter skelter game. We can't fight a conventional fight. We're fighting an unconventional battle. We have a long way to go in the half court theater. I want to be able to press and get turnovers. But the next stop for this team is, is a simple concept: keep your man in front of you. So. Uh, long way to go. I scrapped the matchup zone in the second half. I wasn't happy for it with it. We got to keep continuing work on that because that's going to help us. But um, really proud of, of a lot of guys. But um, you know, obviously look at the numbers. Paul Jackson it was phenomenal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody told him twenty something assists and three turnovers in uh, in three days is great. And obviously he makes Jarrell and Javante that much better. He finally answered your call for no fouls. He played. He played very well. He played play without fouling. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's the guy. He moved Isaac off the ball today, which he felt you know really comfortable doing. So uh, I'm not saying we found our unit yet, but um, I think we're getting close. Still it looked like you were rotating everybody and anybody to try to slow down Longbo. And you finally yeah. did there towards the end. They were finally yeah, uh, keeping him off the rim. I think they, they did a good job. Nick and Greg really did a good job. You know, um, Anthony, you know, got he had four stitches. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's a tough kid. Um, you know, I, I thought Greg really played well. Gave us some minutes, played played good D, and then you know Nick let the game come to him. So, you know, really proud of those guys. Um, the biggest thing with this team I keep preaching is we have to throw the knockout punch. You know, we're up 11 in the first half, and it, we let the back in. That can't be our MO. If we want to take the next step as a team, we have to start throwing the knockout punch and, and putting teams away. But give them credit. You know, Longwood's a well-coached team. They had a lot of fight. A team that had lost two games this weekend coming into here, they didn't act like it. They kept fighting and fighting and fighting, so you got to give them a lot of credit. Well, they battled back, and after you blew it out to 10, and they got it down to 6 or 7, and that's when you, you turned up the defense. But it looked like your guys recognized that last few minutes that they were starting to wear down a bit, and they just really pushed. So maybe some of that... Yeah, I think so. Calling for put the foot on their toes. I think so. Yeah, we're going to continue to work on it. You know, this team's a work in progress. Obviously, our offense is light years ahead of our defense. But um, you know, I'm just happy that we were able to sustain the way we were able to sustain it for three days. You know, first game it was, it was completely different. We were down, came back, and our bench brought us back in. Yesterday was a little bit back and forth, and then today, you know, I played guys major minutes, and they, they really responded and rang the bell. King gave you some really quality minutes. He did. Beating and banging in the middle and getting points. Greg, Greg's, Greg's a load. Greg is a low. I thought he played really well. Um, you know, played very good defense. Made his free throws down the stretch, which was nice. You know, had a chance. Had a chance. We just gotta understand when you gotta play defense. Three games in three days. When you started getting ready to prepare for this, what was you expecting? And then, how do you feel about it now? Besides three wins, obviously. Yeah, well, I wanted to win three. Our goal is to go undefeated at home. Yeah, that's one of our goals. We had to take that step this weekend. I wanted guys to understand what it's like to play three in a row. And it's tough. It's mentally it's tough getting ready on, on no preparation because we take pride in preparing our guys a lot. Um, and I wanted these guys to understand that it's anyone's, anyone's given night, someone's going to respond. So, you know, the first game, bench came to save us. John Hood, Jalen, Matt Harris were phenomenal. And then tonight, you know, you look at Jarrell and Javante, you know, shooting all league guys, in my opinion, in this league. Um, you know, Paul Jackson, obviously, had a, had a great weekend. And last night was Dick Mayo's night. So that's what I'm proud of. Every different night, we're very, very tough to guard, and tough to scout because we have we have so many weapons. Well, this should pay dividends down the road because hopefully you'll be playing three nights in a row down the night. That's, That's the goal. Couple months. That's the goal. One thing I've noticed about this team is the way that they step up the intensity, especially when they get down. And do you feel like these guys respond to pressure really well? Because I saw whenever they felt like they were letting Longwood get in, they realized they had to go on a run. Yeah. Whether it was offense or defense, they <laughs> step up that intensity. Yes, yeah, they, they know. You know play like this in practice every day. So they're, they're trained to do it. They understand we're, we're going to play a pressing style. And eventually, you wear teams down. You know, it's like, like a boxer. You've got to you know, work the body, work the body, and then you go for the knockout. And that, we're trying to get that early in games. didn't happen, but we wore them down. And we turned them over at the right time and went on a run. And then uh, hopefully solidified. So do you think that once you're able to finally start pulling off that knockout, that knockout punch there in the first half, this guy's the limit for this team? I think we have to become a great half-court defensive team. Which we're not. We're, we're, we're speed teams up. We turn them over in, in the full court. But once a team breaks the press and they set up their offense, now we got to get tougher. Now we got to dig in and get stops in the half court, and that's the next step for this team. And Paul's not going to have jump shots like that. That just makes him that much more. Yeah, I give him a lot of credit. Paul Paul's really shown a lot of maturity over the past couple of days. Playing with confidence. He's knocking down jump shots. He's picking his spots, and um, you know, really doing a great job passing the ball.